Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a lighting designer or programmer, you're probably used to working with pan and tilt when positioning your moving lights, right? Well, today I'm going to show you why you should stop thinking with pan and tilt and switch to a much smarter workflow with XYZ Focus using Augmented. Trust me, this is a game changer. So let's start by looking at the traditional way of positioning moving lights with pan and tilt. Imagine you've got a light hanging 5 meters or 16 feet above the stage, and you want it to light up a person standing below. You might end up with values like pan minus 42 and tilt 54 to get the right position. Now, if you add another moving light at a different position, you might get something like pan minus 16 and tilt 47. Here's the thing. These numbers are specific to each light, and they don't mean much outside of their own context. Even though these two lights are pointing at the same person, the pan and tilt values are completely different for each fixture. It's not very intuitive, right? Now imagine there's a better way. Instead of thinking in angles, what if you could just think in terms of positions? This is where XYZ focus comes in. In XYZ mode, we work within a coordinate system, just like plotting points on a map. Here's how it works. X is left and right, Y is forward and backward, Z is up and down, so that's the height above the stage. Let's say the person you're lighting is standing 5 meters away from the center of the stage. That would be y equals 5 meters. Now to position your light, you just adjust it along the x and y axes, like moving it forward or to the side. If you know the exact position, you can even directly enter those xyz values. Here's where xyz focus really saves time. Let's say you want another light to hit the exact same spot. In pan and tilt, you'd have to manually adjust each light separately, which can be tedious because the values differ for each fixture. But with XYZ, you just copy the coordinates. Think of the time you can save when positioning multiple lights. Plus, you can store these XYZ positions in palettes, presets, or even queues. To do this, switch to the XYZ format. A coordinate system appears when this format is activated. This is also indicated in the live table. And if your actor's position shifts one meter to the right, it's easy to update the position across all your lights without adjusting each light individually. And here's where it gets even more exciting. When the position of your fixtures change, XYZ focus is a game changer. Because the positions are based on coordinates, your lights will still hit the right spots even if the fixtures have moved to a new location. This flexibility is something you just don't get with pan and tilt. And it's why XYZ Focus is the future of light positioning in Augmented. In the upcoming video, we'll dive deeper into how this flexibility comes into play when working with scenic element movables, like moving trusses or objects. If you found this video helpful, support this channel by hitting the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.